Hello everyone, it's Paiguru this side and today in this tutorial we are going to learn about 2FA bypass work. So basically whenever we log in to certain website which have 2FA or 2-factor authentication enabled, what happens is that we usually log in with the email and password and if the email and password is correct, the server does some validation like for uh, checking email and password. If the email and password is correct, we are uh, redirect to the next page where the server will send the OTP to either phone number or your email account associated with this account. So now uh, this is known as two-factor authentication and let's say we have access to email and password on this particular website but we don't know which email or which phone number is attached to this account or we are unable to access the OTP. In that case what we will do we'll try to bypass this second page uh, that is OTP. So for this, uh, again, uh, if you are somehow able to enter the OTP, the server will validate if the OTP is correct or not. And then if it is correct, it will redirect you to the dashboard. And if it's incorrect, it will just move to the same page like OTP page once again, telling you that the OTP is incorrect. Or it will or either just uh, terminate the session and it will uh, redirect you to the initial login page where you have to enter email and password. So this is the basic concept that is in single word, we enter email password, if it is correct, we move to the OTP page, if it, and if we are able to enter the correct OTP, we will move to the dashboard page. Now what we will do is, we will enter email and password, but then we will not enter OTP and directly move to the dashboard page. Let's see how. So here I have a target website, 3 ie So here is the website. And now I'll try to log into this particular website. I have a email and password. So let me just copy this. So this is the email. I'll enter here and then this is the password. I'll enter here. Now if I just click on login, if everything is correct, I'll move to the next page that is uh, the OTP page. So let's wait for some time. Yes, so it says, uh, it says please enter a verification code blue. Now I'm not aware if this is being sent on the email or phone number but what we want is we want to bypass this page. So now this is a bug, not every uh, website will have this but again website which are misconfigured will have this bug. So this is the dashboard URL okay and what I'll do is I'll simply copy this dashboard URL and paste it here. Now here's the bug. If the uh, technically this uh, website should uh, the OTP or check if the OTP was validated before moving to the dashboard page but in that case in this case this will not validate and I'll simply bypass to the my account page you can see I have simply bypassed the entire OTP page and now I'm on the dashboard so this is known as simple OTP bypass bug and in future tutorials we'll learn about more bypass technique on 2FA but this was the simplest of so let me just log out here here the phone number was attached to this particular account but now let's say I don't have phone number attached okay so let me just try with this email let's just go to 3.i okay so this is the piece uh, my 3 here the new email id will enter and I'll try with new password and then login. Uh, this time it will say that you since we don't have any account number linked with this, so it says to complete registration you have to uh, like you have to enter your uh, phone number attached to this particular mobile or brand. Uh, let's say still uh, since it's not on the dashboard page, and we will do the same thing here. So let's just bypass this by typing this dashboard URL, and if I hit enter, you will see I'll be. Uh, redirect it to the dashboard. So this is how you can uh, use this bug to simply bypass the 2FA. So this is clear to you and do try this as there uh, this is one of very common mistakes that uh, developers forget. They generally don't uh, validate the OTP uh, before moving to this dashboard page. So this is one of very common bugs. So this is it for this video guys. If you love this video, leave a like or dislike. If you're not my channel, subscribe it. Thank you. See you in the next tutorial.